Um, I'm joined by Martin from the Lake Poets. Uh, it's like deja vu this, it isn't is it? Yeah. Hopefully we don't get a guy dressed as a bear. That was to, uh... very funny. I was actually watching that a few weeks ago. Yeah. Just to get myself in the mood for evolution. Yeah. And I remember how funny that was. Yeah. Actually, maybe we should have it. Maybe it'll bring some life to the to the interview. We don't know. Um, so how have you had your day? How have you had your day so far? Been great. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to play around here, especially yeah. a big festival like this. Yeah. When you get a nice reception like we did, and people people singing along, people were clapping, it just gives you a really good buzz, you know. Obviously, you opened the main stage last year, um, so is it nice to come back and, as you say, have people singing along the music? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's peculiar to be asked back, you know, to a festival the second year, but the organisers must have saw something they liked, or the crowd must have, you know, been into it, so they've invited us back, and it was it was great, absolutely great. Now, this is one question I didn't ask you last year. Sunderland or Newcastle music scene? Sunderland, like, without a doubt. Like, I know that might be controversial. Yeah. But if you just look at the track record of Sunderland bands who have not only done well to, like commercially but critically, I draw a lot of inspiration from Sunderland bands. But saying that, Newcastle's got a much more vibrant yeah. music scene, like not just the music we all like and come to see at festivals, but there's just so much music in Newcastle as compared to Sunderland. But I just think people from Sunderland want it more because we've got a little less. Do you think it's a shame that we don't have enough venues in Sunderland? Obviously, we've got Independent, which is reopened now. Um, but that's kind of it, really. It's a terrible shame, yeah. I'm really, really pleased for Ben that they've managed to get it open this weekend. But it's been about six months where we haven't had a viable venue for big touring bands. I mean, pure, all those type of venues, they're great. Yeah. But not if you want to get somebody like, you know, if you want to get the vaccines, they're not going to play in pure, unfortunately. Yeah. But they will play somewhere like Independent because it's a 400 cap professional venue. Yeah, so um, obviously you're sharing the bill with the likes of the vaccines and stuff like that. Um, how's the kind of music evolved over the past year and have these kind of bands helped and uh, influenced you? No, I wouldn't say in terms of my musical style, yeah. but in terms of the stage presence, you know, they're obviously very successful bands, they know what they're doing. I wouldn't say I was particularly influenced by their music, but just the way they go on, you know, it just it, it, every time you play a festival like this, you meet other bands, you meet other people, and it just it's all a life lesson. So, um, obviously, you've played now, you're having a, you've had a good time backstage and stuff. Are you back tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be heading down tomorrow. It's a, it's a good lineup, man. I quite like the dance tent, if I'm being honest with you. We haven't been over yet, but honestly, like, the lineup there is incredible. We're going over there now, actually, to try and catch up with stuff. So, who are you excited about seeing over there? I don't know, they say there's too many to pick, really. Yeah. I'm just going to go down and see what I can get into. Yeah, I think that's the beauty of evolution, really. It's a, a lot of these people that are coming along to the uh, festival as well, they're never going to experience these bands before. Yeah. Um, so it's a real chance for them to kind of get used to this new music and, of course, Northeast talent as well. Yeah, of course, man. I really like the fact that we've got something like us up here. It's, it's quite unusual, you know, because I'm used to my split festivals and things where it's a certain type of music for a certain type of person. But I just kind of, I thought a little bit outside the box. And there's bands in here I've never heard of. But I've been watching them and I've enjoyed them. So I've gained from that. I'm not in a little circle, in a little, little box anymore. I've learned something new, I've seen a new band. And hopefully, people who might not have heard of Lake Ports might have liked us. So that, that's how it works for me. That's the joy of music, really. Now, we were chatting with the Stripes earlier. They're all like 15, 16, 17, um, playing a massive festival like this. Um, did you ever dream when you started out the Lake Poets project that um, you would be up on this stage? No, definitely not. Definitely not. I've been in bands. Well, you know, like the Stripes lads, I've been in bands since I was 14 and I wasn't as lucky as them when I was 14, 15, 16, nobody gave a nick about my bands. We played at rooms where it was just me mum. <laughs> but, you know... Biggest fan, she's the biggest fan. <laughs> she is, yeah, she bought all my records. And also she thinks I'm very handsome. Oh, of marvellous. Which is nice, which is very kind of that to say so. But, uh, yeah, so it's great, you know, it's, it's very encouraging, especially for other young people, to see a band like the Stripes, they were doing very well and enjoying themselves. Hopefully it'll encourage other young people to pick up guitars and start playing music. It's just a big positive, really. Now, I caught you with Darren Brown. That's right. um, did you enjoy it? Did it go? I really did. I'm a really, really big fan of Darren Brown. My girlfriend's a psychologist. I see. So she's bought all the books and she likes yeah. all these mind tricks and stuff. I feel like I'm a test subject, really. Yeah. But she wasn't there, unfortunately. So I managed to tell her all about it. But yeah, I, again, Darren Brown coming to Sunderland. That's yeah. magic. Yeah. He doesn't, you know, forgive the pun. Yeah. But he doesn't go to Newcastle. He comes yeah. to the Sunderland Empire because it's such a, a great venue. Yeah. And the crowds are great. And they've just announced John Bishop at the Empire as well. He's been specifically come back to do that one-off gig because yeah. he loves playing Sunderland so much so would you like to play the Sunderland Empire at some point? I would absolutely love to it's a very very big venue man yeah. so I'd have, to, I'd have to like sell a million records or something before I get to play there. Should I put in a good word with the general manager? Put, put I might know word. him I might know him. I'll play like I'll play the I don't know I'll play the entry hall or something. Oh <laughs> lovely thanks very much Martin enjoy the rest of your day all right see you later.